Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the beautiful northwestern region of Azerbaijan. And today I'm hanging out with my friend Adnan and some of our friends from Ri, Azerbaijan. And we have been invited to a local family home where they are going to prepare a local, authentic, traditional meal, which are these amazing lamb dumplings served with this incredible sour plum sauce. Oh, oh wow, that sauce. Yes. <laughs> and then after that, we'll be going to another place, I think, for dinner. Waterfall of lamb fat juice that came out of that. That's, <laughs> that's insanely juicy. So that's the plan for today. It's going to be a day of traditional and delicious regional Azerbaijani food. And I can't wait to share it all with you coming up right now in this video. Really quickly before we start this video, I am excited to tell you about Kiva and Mark Wien's Smoked Ghost Pepper Powder. It's an all-purpose seasoning. You can use it on just about everything. I love the heat. I love the smokiness. It's available now. I'll have the link in the description box below. Let's get back to the video. Adnan. We yes. have arrived. Where where are we? We are in Gakh. Gakh. That is the northwest region of Azerbaijan. It's the border, close to the border with Georgia. And we're gonna be eating girs here. Awesome. That's the traditional meal from Gakh. Beautiful place surrounded by mountains, green flowers. We're gonna meet up with a local family who's gonna prepare for us the traditional meal of this region of Azerbaijan. So I can hear the river. We're nearby to the river. They're growing their own crops and vegetables. And we're just surrounded by mountains in all directions. This is village around all mountain. Uh -huh. And between this small village. And not that much people living here. Only. Some people, I don't know even how many, I will ask now. Burda ne çe nəfər yaşayır? Yox, bu kəndde ne çe nəfər var? Təxminən. I think, I think 100 or 130 maximum. Yeah, every oh, okay. year I'm coming oh, here. You come this here. house, oh, cool. I'm renting this oh, house. Oh, so you know this place. Yeah, yeah. Oh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Also, we've just walked through the entire yard to the backyard underneath a canopy of trees. There's a table just sitting out. This is something I love about Azerbaijan so much. They just set tables in the nature. We're just shaded by beautiful trees. This is where they're gonna do some of the cooking, where we're gonna have a, a beautiful lunch right next to the river and just at the base of a rock cliff. It's a, just a beautiful location. Oh, the fire is up there, yeah. okay, and the tea kettle That's goes on top here. That's why it's a bit tasty. Ah. Yeah, I make special for you. Thank you very much. You have to have tea everywhere, right? Yeah, everywhere. Because we love tea. Oh, so it's hot water from there. So this is the tea brewing at the top. Underneath is hot water. So you add hot water and then you fill in the tea to, to balance it out. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that tea. And like, I mean, Azerbaijan, you, you will drink so many cups of tea throughout the day. It's such a huge part of the culture and they just have like massive tea kettles just sitting all over. I love how it's just connected to nature and you can just have a cup of tea. I mean, that's part of the hospitality in Azerbaijan. Ah, yeah, fragrant, strong, and you can kind of like decide your own strength with uh, mixing it with hot water and with the tea at the top. <laughs> I'm already, already having yeah. a tea, yes. That's, that's, that's a given. Yes. You're in Azerbaijan, you're, you're having tea. Having, having tea. Yep. Walnut in its shell. Yeah. Try it. I've never seen a walnut like this. And you eat the whole thing. Yep. Mm. Oh, it is a walnut in its shell. Oh, that's incredible. It's like candied and soft. The shell, the shell seems like it's, I mean, you can eat right through the shell and then when you crunch down, you realize that it's a, it's a walnut on the inside. Mm. Sweet and syrupy and delicious. Sour cherries. Sour cherry. Yeah. Sour cherries. Mm -hmm. Some of these great tea snacks, the walnuts, and then these look like sour cherries in a syrup. Mmm. Mmm. 
Very sweet, but sour, really good. And it goes especially good with tea. And so she's brought out all of the ingredients to a table underneath the tree. Before we eat, she's going to make the entire process. I mean, these are going to be as fresh as possible. So she's beginning with that dough which is just flour. She adds in some salt to some water and then she's just kind of kneading that up, but kind of adding the water at intervals so it doesn't get too wet, uh, controlling that texture and just kneading that into a dough uh, before she's gonna roll it out and then combine it with the lamb, combine it with the spices and the onions that are gonna go into the, the girsh. <laughs> As the dough rests, she's gonna get started on the mixed meat mixture for the filling. Chopped juicy onions. So it's minced lamb. She adds in salt and then she adds in a couple of spices. There's a really fine powder, black pepper. It's a herb similar to thyme. And then she adds in some other chopped fresh herbs. There's coriander, it looks like some dill almost. And then the surprising unexpected ingredient is this sour plum sauce, like almost like a jam that goes into the meat mixture. Oh, that all goes in. Oh man, that's gonna create an amazing flavor inside of these, these like little mini bite-sized dumplings and the meat mixture is ready to go. And then immediately goes on a little spoon, a bite-sized little spoon of that lamb meat mixture. And then they wrap them up with pleating it at the top edges. So like a half moon style shape. Now they're on turbo mode. Going full force on the girsh. Yeah, talk about experience. They're just so fast. I mean, the way they pleat all of those edges of the dumplings and then the way they're like all perfectly even just uniform size and so that was an amazing demonstration they made like half a tray but little did i know they had actually been working all this morning while we were arriving because we at least like 10 people we, we came with 10 people and so they had been they pulled out some trays of the freshly made dumplings they're ready to go and so they're going to boil them immediately girsh 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 oh amazing Uh -huh. Okay, salt goes into uh -huh. the boiling water. Oh, 
Can I help you? Okay. She knows when she starts dancing. Yeah. Okay. Can she explain that? Oh, how? If they're able to dance. Yo, yo, oh, ha, or she, she free wear made it, oh. And you can't tell exactly how long they're going to boil. She said that was a cool comment where she said they just have to dance in the water and then she knows by experience when they'll be fully cooked until that lamb meat, that mixture, everything cooks together in those amazing looking dumplings. Uh, but I love this nature outdoor cooking. <laughs> Okay. She said, when you see, when you see it's dancing, see. It's yes, dancing. they're dancing like at the top of the, yeah, at the top of the water. They're floating. They're floating. Oh, that means it's ready. Okay. Oh, they smell incredible. Okay. How do you dig in? You dip it here. Ah. This is garlic with sour sauce. Okay. So you dip it here and you go for it. Thank you. I broke one. That's okay. That's a crime. <laughs> Nobody saw it. No witnesses. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And then dip it into that yeah. sour plum sauce with garlic with garlic mm. 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 oh oh wow that sauce yes <laughs> i wasn't expecting just a oh man it's like jolt of sourness from that plum the garlic in there it's salty oh sauce mm. is incredible those fresh dumplings that we made the wrapper is like perfectly Perfect texture, not too thick, not too thin. Um, gummy, gooey, and then on the inside you have the, the lamb. Just those light spices, but just fragrant. Yeah. Oh man, it's delicious. And then with that sauce, that just takes it to the next level. Yeah, the sauce is. The sauce is incredible. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I like how they're, they're nice bite-sized. Yes. Not too chunky. Perfect for one bite. Yeah, not too chunky, yeah. not too, too much, they just go down so easily. You mean not heavy? Not heavy, yeah. yeah. Amazingly meaty, flavorful, but not that, yeah. not that rich, yeah. I think, I think also the sauce also helps to really make it yeah. balanced. You said it right, that salty garlic, it, it's like the cherry on top. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, hot, fresh, homemade, under the tree. Yeah, this is delicious. And the onions, the onions in that meat too. Yeah. Oh, you can taste the onions. This is the hot The batch. hot fresh one? Yeah, okay. the hot fresh one. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, they're so good. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And you got to eat them while they're hot and fresh, boiled right out of the water. Oh man, that, that sauce, that sauce is just unexpected, loading up with hot, fresh, boiled ones. Yeah, the hot ones are spectacular. The fruitiness of the sauce and then the garlic, the pungency of the garlic, so addictive, so tasty. I mean, it's almost like lamb with plum sauce, yet wrapped into bite sized packages. I mean, that's exactly what it is. Man, you could just keep on eating these non-stop. They go down so easily. 
Oh, thank you, Adnan. Mm. A refill. <laughs> never Keep ending. Coming, yep. Never ending yes, girsh. Yes, yes. I just hear you. I, I just hear groans coming from the side of the table. <laughs> oh, that sauce. Yeah, the sauce. Especially when she pours on hot, fresh ones. Yes. Right out of the pot. She just kept refilling us. Oh, that was such an incredibly good meal. And again, oh man, those dumplings were so just satisfying and so addictive. You cannot stop, especially with that sauce. And I love this outdoor sink. It's just a pipe of flowing water coming directly from that, that stream flowing here. Oh, what a meal. What a just nature-oriented place. What an incredible family. That was spectacular. Started with a cup of tea. Must end with a cup of tea. Oh, I'm gonna try a different type of, thank you. And sometimes you can put it into the tea, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, I gotta try that. This the sour actually, cherries, thank you very much. The sour candied cherries, put them into your tea to sweeten it up. Oh yeah. You know, you know everything. <laughs> I'm trying to learn, learn how to do it. So some of that cherry syrup within your chai. Oh man. Oh, that's wonderful. Just like that fruity sourness from the sour cherry, but not overpowering, not too sweet. Just a little fruity, sour sweetness. Oh man, I just love the tea culture here. Just nonstop, like continual flow of tea at all times. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, yes. Thank you. How do you say thank you? How do you say thank you? Oh, chok 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 Thank you. Chok 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 Man, again, thank you to this amazing family for hosting us. That was delicious and an incredible, peaceful place. Thank you, Adnan, man. That was an amazing experience. Great. Delicious. It was, and uh, I think I had too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm I, feeling sleepy. Yeah. I'm feeling kind yeah. of sleepy. But we still have more food coming. Okay. We're going to Sheki. Sheki. The historical city. Awesome. So we're on our way now. Welcome to Sheki. This is a historical city in Azerbaijan, uh, which was on the Silk Road. And we'll actually be exploring the city more tomorrow, so that will be in another video. Uh, but we drove straight this evening to a restaurant. We're gonna have some kebabs. We are at Zulu Numbaghe. Zulu is the name of the owner. Okay. Uh, Zulu Numbaghe means Zulu's garden. Ah, yeah, and it is a garden. I love these places in yeah. Azerbaijan where you have just tables kind of sprawled out throughout the yard and the garden. So just natural, like just perfect dining settings for eating meat. Yeah, Allah. So these are just all the different side dishes and yes. the, mm -hmm. the beginning dishes. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Would this be before yes, before the, the meat main, comes? Yes, before the meat, the comes. meat comes. Okay, and to be eaten with bread as well. This is yes. Oh, like these pickled onions. Pickled onions, sour dairy product products with some herbs, um, cheese. Cheese. This is we call it mangal salad. Mangal salad. You grill the tomatoes on charcoal. The tomatoes the eggplant, and then you mince it, and it becomes a salad. Oh, so nice. Call it mangal salad, like grilled awesome. salad. Oh man, I love eggplant. Also pickles. 
And this is a drink. It's, it's like a soup. Ah, okay, okay. It's when it's hot, we serve it in a bowl. Okay. When it's cold, we serve it in a glass, so it's easier ah. to drink it. Oh, yeah. Nice. So you can start with this. All right. All right, man. Hmm. Oh, it's awesome. Very herbal, like slightly salty and sour, mm -hmm. yogurty. That's really nice and thick. Pickled onions. Oh. That is so good. Oh man. Okay. So he's just putting a fresh batch of a variety of different kebabs onto the grill. All of it is lamb. Oh man, put it sit over the, the charcoal, immediately starts to hiss. Smells so good already. Uh, there's an, a mixture he has of onions and herbs, I think some dill, some coriander in there. Puts that in the center, sprinkles it with sumac, does the same with all of the different meats onto a, like a foundation of parsley. And then just, man, you just smell the aroma of that lamb uh, with onions in the center and then sumac sprinkled on top. Oh, that's beautiful. That's hot and fresh. That's going directly to the table. We're ready to eat. Let's go. Okay, let's go eat. Oh, and what are we drinking here? Vodka. <laughs> so in Azerbaijan, vodka. vodka goes with kebabs. With kebab, it's it's yeah. a must. It's vodka. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you. And the kebab wrapped. Minced kebab. Minced kebab. Lule kebab. Lule kebab. Lule yes. kebab. Yes. Okay, and again, man, he just like. He just like slid it off the skewer, sizzling into the bread, wraps it up fully, fully wrapped. Um, some sumac on top. Let's go. Let's go. Mm. Oh, wow. It was like a waterfall of lamb fat juice that came out of that. That's, that's insanely juicy. <laughs> there you go. That's how juicy it is. I got splattered. Splattered. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh man. What, the what juiciness, it? it tastes like onions and lamb fat are just like completely you have to see a, a squeeze of this. Oh man. The juices are out of control. Look, it will drip. Oh. 
<laughs> it's so good. Maybe scoop up with some of those onions yes. and sumac yes. and sohar. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 You don't need to chew. Oh, with those onions. That citrusiness of the sumac. That was yeah. extraordinary. The lamb chop, look at all that fat. And he grilled it until crispy on the edges. That is like just encased in fat. Mm. Mm. Okay. That one is just the pure taste of the lamb. The fat, the juice, just salted. And then just grilled until crispy and yes. then. And then vodka, vodka, vodka with kebabs. Yes. All right. Welcome to Azerbaijan. Thank you. Your first day. Cheers. And then you chase it with an onion. Yep. Great idea. All that combination, man. The harshness of the vodka immediately counterbalanced by that acidity from the onion. Yes. Oh man. And the lamb fat still lingers on the tongue. Okay, we gotta try the next meat. So we've got some marinated lamb pieces. All right. Oh. It's got a great ratio of fat to meat. And immediately you taste that herbal flavor. And then next up for that, like, whole like steak piece of kind of a filet. Oh. oh, thank you. Some more onions and sumac to freshen it up. Mm. And each piece of meat has a different texture to it, a different cut. That one is like more lean. Um, again, incredibly tasty. I love that citrusiness of the sumac. We gotta try it while it's hot and fresh. Yes. Bite of liver. Mm. Oh man, that is so juicy. <laughs> oh, the liver. Yes. It's amazing and creamy. The liver. Good. Very good. So good. Some of that bread, eggplant, tomato, coriander, fresh onions in here. So all of those ingredients charred, grilled, until like they're melting and then combined together. Mm. Love it. So cool, it's refreshing, it's creamy and smoky. I gotta try the, the Azerbaijan chili. Okay. Mm. Oh, it's, it is a little bit spicy. Um, it's really juicy, really crisp, so much flavor. Mm. So fragrant. I love the crispness of it. Yeah. One more dish. What is what is this? This dish? is rushta. This is a uh, farm raised chicken with chestnuts ah, and onions and onions. Oh, he's still adding things. Chestnuts, onions. What was that? That orange sauce. Ah. Plum. Oh. Sour plum. Sour plum. Chestnuts go in. Oh, like barberries? Yes. Barberries, chestnuts, butter. That chicken is just sauteing in this like gravy of melted onions.
<laughs> yeah, they're actually liquefying those onions. And this is a local dish? Shecky dish? This is a local dish. Oh Shecky man, dish. that is unbelievable. Onions, barberries, the chestnut, making sure to grab a yes. chestnut. Just mix it all. Make sure the butter gets on it too. Yes. Oh yeah. Yes, oily and juicy it is. <laughs> Incredible. Mm. Mm. I know, right? <laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> it's like the, sh the softness of baby food. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just onions on the next level. They're so sweet. And the chestnut. Mm -hmm. That nutty starchiness of the chestnut, the butter, the just little every now and then you get that barberry sourness. I'm gonna load it up. The hardest part is just balancing as many onions as you can on top of this drumstick as possible. Oh yeah, and now you gotta take Perfect. it to your mouth. You have to take it to your mouth fast. Mm. Mm. Oh the stickiness of those onions just melting into their chicken. <laughs> oh, what a dish. Yes. Absolutely incredible. And it's called Odushta. Odushta. Yeah. Odushta. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I got a plum seed in that bite too. Well. Right. It's all very fresh. Mm hmm That is so tasty. Wondrous. Thank you. At the end of every meal, you, we drink tea. Like we drink Great. tea on a regular basis. Yes. Uh, as I yes, told you the, today, we oh drink man. like three, four liters of uh, tea yes, yes during the day. Like we sit in the office, we drink tea. <sighs> yeah. Really good. And then I do want to try that that local sheki, like a baklava. Yes. Feels thick and. Sticky. Yes. Wow. That's almost more like a like a toffee. It's so sticky. Syrupy. And the hazelnuts in that. You need tea with that. It is really good, but really sweet. They just have all sorts of things. I mean there's like candies, there's even packaged candies, full sweet little little party. Oh, and a perfect way to just end the evening to relax, drink tea. Oh, what a just incredible meal to wrap up to complete this day in Azerbaijan. And I want to say a big thank you to Adnan from Reb Azerbaijan. I'll have their information in the description box below, but they've set up this entire trip for me traveling around and tasting amazing authentic food and traveling through Azerbaijan. And I want to say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. And then make sure to stay tuned for lots more food and travel videos around Azerbaijan. Uh, we're gonna go to some amazing places and some delicious traditional food coming up. So thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video.